Well, it is part two of our in-depth series. Well, it's not really in-depth since there's only two parts. (laughs) (laughs) Part two, though. (laughs) The first part was about retinoids. And today... I said (laughs) papal. And today is retinols. Ashley and I are on... We're usually recording together... But I can't see her, and she's in another location, so <laughs> this will be very interesting. Yeah, so you might hear Lindsay say, Ashley, or I might say, Lindsay. Yeah, like, so anyway, I think that this has just been a great two-part series <laughs> because it's really just explaining the differences between retinoids and retinols. I think there's a lot of confusion, and we talked about that in the uh, previous episode, so I'm really excited for us to dive in and just kind of um, well educate everybody on the differences. So when they go into Ulta or Sephora or their spa, they are educated and they know what to look out for. Right, and that's our whole goal is to help you make yes. educated and informed decisions, but not make it super boring, which is why I'm going to toot toot our own horn for a minute because I felt like we explained it in a way that, you know, just the average person can understand because Lindsay, you and I are not scientists, but we love the science behind things and we love to find out, okay, does this work? Is it worth it? And this goes, now we're going to begin with the retinol. So I want to tell y'all all all about, it seriously is a magical ingredient and you do need it in your skincare routine. And that is called retinol or the retinoids, which is, you know, in the other one. So you need some sort of retinoid in your skincare routine. So today we're going to focus on retinol and retinol is the -the over-the-counter form of vitamin A. And why is this important? Well, if you are anybody over the age of 12, you need to smooth your fine lines and wrinkles. I'm just kidding. But vitamin A is known to smooth your fine lines and wrinkles as well as unclog your pores. And this is under the family called retinoids, which we talked about in the earlier podcast. And it's usually the most common ingredient found in the -the over-the-counter skincare products because retinol can actually deliver the results. It also, which I love this part about it, it contains exfoliating properties. So that's going to help remove those darker cells on your skin. So if you think about it, you know, we all go out in the sun and you can receive hyperpigmentation damage, which is those darker spots. And so the exfoliation allows the lighter skin underneath to be seen. And also, which I really love, is retinol encourages skin cell renewal. And it also increases collagen because I just want y'all to know that when any, like if my husband kisses me on the cheek or my daughter, my son, I want them to be kissing a marshmallow. That's my goal is to have a marshmallow face. (laughs) Yes. So if you've ever kissed a baby, that is, oh my gosh, the collagen, my daughter, so much collagen because she's young. And I'm like, it's like kissing a marshmallow. I love it. You know, in the treatment room, that is such a number one concern of clients and of mature clients. And they've always asked me, what is something that I can do to increase my collagen and and thicken my skin? Yes. Because as you get up older, it is because I have noticed my skin is thinner. And so the retinol is going to help to thicken your skin because that is something that everybody talks about wrinkles and age spots, but people rarely talk about how thin your skin is. Yeah, it really does thin out. And when you're talking about age earlier, you know, you can start this. I would say it really depends on when you're starting to see your skin change and wrinkles form and everybody's different. And a main reason, well, obviously there's genetics, but also a main reason is how people wore sunscreen growing up. So you may see wrinkles earlier in your early 20s or mid 20s or late 20s, or it may start in the early 30s. So just kind of gauge where you're at in that stage of your skin life. And then you can start even in your, you know, lower to mid 20s if you feel like you if you need to right and and it really depends on the region you live in because if you live in you know a warmer client like Nevada or California I lived in both those locations it was 
you know, especially in Nevada, it was desert sun, desert heat, dry. I mean, crackle, crackle, crackle. I definitely would have been using retinoids in my 20s. Yeah, of course. And then we'll talk about later how to kind of sandwich the retinol. So to, everybody's heard of that retinol sandwich to just... Oh, yeah. I love that, Lindsay. That is so cute. A retinol sandwich. Well, I will tell you there is good news with retinols and it does start to work pretty much immediately. It's going to take though, like any skincare, be patient with skincare. It will definitely at least minimally take probably three weeks for just to notice a very small difference in your skin texture. And really, we're looking at three, six, even 12 months of regular use before you notice a difference in elasticity, wrinkles, and of course, that collagen production. I say with any new skincare or device, take a before picture. I just started taking this skincare that I'm so excited about. And I would like to do a podcast about it. But it even says, it's going to take about five months to see the difference. I'm like, okay, oh. I'm preparing myself for those five months, taking a before picture. If you think about it. I'm so glad you took a before picture. I'm so excited to see those results. I know we're being super secretive because you want to see if it works or not. Right, Lindsay? I want to see if it works. And I know it's going to take skin. I mean, I know it's going to take a while to build up that collagen. And especially at my age, it just takes your body longer to rebuild. So just give yourself that break and just know, oh my gosh, I've used it for a week and I haven't, you know, I don't have a new face. It's just gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. Now, why does it take so long though? It's really not super strong, like a retinoid, like, you know, like that prescription strength. So it is gentler on your skin because your skin enzymes need to convert the retinol into retinoic acid. This can take time on how your individual skin processes this. It's just you know, everybody is different. Now, if you want to see faster results or if you have like super deep lines and wrinkles, see the tretinoin section. And we actually have all this posted inside our anti-aging community. So go to lindsayholder.com. Join our community. We would love to have you in there. And there is a section that goes into types of retinoids and all about that. Now, I will say there's a little bit of bad news. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm into, I'm really into not impressions, not voice. I don't know, Ashley. I don't know. What you I'm, into? In, I'm into noises today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're like our sound effect board. Is that or what, whatever that's called? Yes, sound effects. It's because as Lindsay already knows, because we had a morning call this morning, I am not supposed to have more than one scoop of caffeine. But this morning I was like, you know what? I'm going to have three scoops. So I'm a little. You are definitely just a zing of energy this morning. I am. And it's still going on. And I haven't had any coffee today. And I'm like on the struggle bus. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're polar opposites right now. Oh, my gosh. Which is just a fantastic combination. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But we are talking about a subject that makes me very happy. So That's true. I pulled through. I pulled through. And I'm going to go for a walk right after this. And that always just kind of picks me back up. Just I'm just saying. With my sunscreen, of course. But anyway, the bad news is that your skin may look a little worse before it gets better because, you know, you're pretty much purging all that yucky stuff out of, you know, out of your skin. So you may see more breakouts in the beginning and you just need to hang in there. So your skin is really just is adjusting to that ingredient and it's unclogging those pores. So it's just really important to hang in there. Now, how do you want to use retinol? Of course, cleanse your face with your favorite cleanser. If you have oily skin, like use a gel cleanser and cream cleanser if you have dry skin. And I actually will go over cleansers that I love inside our community as well. I will say just don't scrub too much when washing your face. Just be super gentle because you're about to put an exfoliant over it, right? Pat your skin dry. When you're applying retinol, obviously avoid your eyes and mouth because those are sensitive areas. And the corner of your nose too, that little part around your nose, that can be pretty sensitive. I really, you know what I'm talking about, Ashley, like right underneath your nose. Oh. I just it, Oh, especially when we do like acid peels. 
Ooh. It's so sensitive right there. So I'm just really. It is. Always apply some Aquaphor right there. I'm just, yeah, I'm just really careful about that. What you're going to do is apply a pea size thin layer to your face. So just kind of squeeze out a pea size amount and this just kind of make little dots around your face and then just, you know, connect the dots really. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. You just connect the dots. Make sure to also put another pea size amount on your neck and then on your decollete. And a lot of people forget their hands. Don't forget your hands because your hands show age and it's just such a great, it's so easy. Just rub a little bit on your hands as well. So pretty much just drench your entire body and right all, <laughs> and then you will be just shedding <laughs> for days after. I know I'm just kidding, but I do think you need to apply it on little areas that are just kind of sticklers that you need to kind of work with. And that to me, or for me, it's definitely my neck, my chest and my hands. My hands too. I've noticed as I've gotten older, my hands need extra TLC. TLC, 100%. I've got my retinol, my CO patches, and my LED lights. They are on my hands, my neck, everywhere. Speaking of that, if you're using an LED light or actually even acids, make sure to alternate nights with your retinol just because it's sensitive. And then if you're using a vitamin C, I definitely do, switch those out. So use your vitamin C in the morning and then use your retinol at night if you're sensitive. Now, some people can mix them and they're fine. I personally can't. Just monitor how your skin feels and how it's responding. And then that kind of will tell you, you know, I need to kind of like, I need to slack off on this a little bit. I need to do this in the morning and then just make sure, especially with your acids, that you just alternate that. Now, if you want to do a mixture, a retinol mixture, or like we call it a retinol sandwich. I was about to say, is this the retinol sandwich? Sandwich. Yes. I personally do this. If your skin is sensitive and dry, you can add a moisturizer to help buffer the retinol. You want to put the moisturizer on first, and then you can apply your, you know, have a little breather, brush your teeth, do something else, then apply your retinol on top of the moisturizer. This is going to really help prevent that itchy red skin, those peeling side effects. So that is definitely my tip. And just go slow. Like that is my number one tip. Everyone's skin is so sensitive and it's different. If you are more sensitive, then just begin applying retinol once a week, then build up to twice and then just build up as your skin will out. Like you'll know. You'll know if, oh, I'm getting way too flaky, way too irritated, way too red. Then you're going to cut it back a little bit. So just take your time. There's no rush on this. You're in this for the long haul. You know, <laughs> this is not going anywhere. This has been a staple in, I mean, honestly, just, I mean, in dermatology, it's been a huge staple. And even skincare business alone, it's just been around for a long time because it's just such an incredible ingredient. Once you're able to you can build up to apply every, you know, other night for until, you know, as your skin adjusts to it. It really also depends, I will say, what other modalities, acids, and other things that you're using on your skin. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your routine. And I have different skincare protocol routines inside the membership, and I'll show you how to mix your retinols with your modalities, your acids, all that. Because Honestly, it's like you're a skin chemist to be able to know how to mix all that together. That's why I love you doing that in the membership is because that's where it can get confusing. Okay, you've got retinol, but you've also got, you know, this exfoliating mask. Then you've got um, microneedling. Then you've got LED lights. And then you've got a hydrating mask. And then you've got to shave one night. And it's, you know, it's so overwhelming. So that's why I love to follow you along because you just hit the play button. And every single night you tell us exactly what to do and in what order. So that way our skin is receiving this tear down and then rejuvenation in the proper order. I equate it to something like if you're going to go see, you know, if you're working out at the gym or something, you know how you have to alternate your legs and your arms and all this stuff so that you don't just completely tear down and ruin your body. And it's kind of the same thing that you can ruin your skin if you're not doing it in the proper sequence. 
Exactly. Even I like to hit the play button. I'm like, gosh, I don't even want to think about it tonight. <laughs> Let me just hit play. Oh, it's so great. But um, speaking of play, let's talk about our favorite retinol products because that's where people are really interested in, okay, I've learned about retinol. I'd like to try it. What do I want to, you know, what should I use? And I will say this. I just want to interject. I went to Ulta to pick up a gift card a few weeks ago. I did like a little video because I thought, wow, there are so many different options of retinols and retinoids on the, you know, down the aisles. I can only imagine how confusing it can be. Oh, it's incredible. And the marketing out there for retinol is genius and it's easy easy to tout and make these claims about, oh, this product is going to do wonders, but you've really got to flip over the back of that box and read the ingredients. And here's why. This is where the clever marketing comes into play, okay? This is what you've been waiting for. A lot of companies will say that their product is a retinol treatment, which as long as it's, you know, in the forms of retinols, they can claim that. But it's not really the same thing because there are cheaper versions that are not going to be as as effective as retinol, okay, or the prescription strengths. So when I say you need to make sure that when you're over-the-counter products, flip it on the back and look for the word retinol. If you see other words like retinol palmitate, retinol, and when I say retinol, I'm actually saying it, R-E-T-I-N-Y-L, okay? The word retinol, R-E-T-I-N-O-L, is the one you want to see. But these are retinol palmitate, <laughs> retinol acetate, and retinol linoleate. Yeah, say that one 10 times. That was fun. But the reason why the companies use those cheaper three versions I just mentioned is because they're more, think of it as shelf term. They're longer on the shelf, meaning they are... They offer more long-term stability, and they don't break down as fast in light. So they can sit on that Ulta shelf for way longer than a product that has the retinol in it. Also, those three ingredients are easier to formulate than retinol. So that's why companies love to put the cheaper versions in their products versus the ingredient of retinol. They'll slap on a beautiful model. And call it a day. Pretty packaging. So it's really important to see through the marketing and get the ingredient that's actually going to work. And the pretty packaging because I am a sucker for packaging. That's right. And you also need to see if you're like, okay, cool. This one has retinol in it. We'll see where it is on the ingredient list. You do not want retinol to be on the last of the ingredient because then it's just forgetting. In our opinion, you're not going to see any real results because, you know, it's built with all the other stuff. So bottom line, make sure you see the word retinol in the ingredient list if you want results. And then once you've got your skin used to the retinols, if you want to see even more results, like Lindsay talked about earlier with the deep lines and wrinkles, then you need to use a prescription strength called Retin-A. And that's the type of retinoid, which we talked about in the other podcast. And we also have it out in lindsayholder.com where we describe it. Anyways, in our spa shop, we have our three favorites. We have the retinol 1.0, a retinol cream, and then we also have a retinol serum. So these are the ones that we love and that we recommend and that we use. I will say we do have the retinol 1.0 zero, but if you're starting off, I do recommend to start with the 0.5. Baji makes a great one, and then you can move up to the one. Just FYI. Another must, like with anything, even if you're not using retinols, you got to use sunscreen. You have to use sunscreen with retinols. It Retinol makes your, your skin so sensitive to sunlight, so you just can't avoid the sun. So make sure you're wearing your sunscreen with at least SPF 30 and of course, we apply every two hours about in the sun. There are these really cool sun dots. I really want to purchase them. I got to figure out where to purchase it, but I'm starting to see them all over social media. And it tells you when your sunscreen is needs to be reapplied because a dot like turns different colors. Ooh, that's my kind of stocking stuffer. Yeah, I know it. And you know what? I, it's one of those things like it's been on my to do to order and I just haven't done it. So by golly, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I really loved how Blue Blizzard, you know, you can tell when the UVA 
UVB lights or hitting the sunscreen. This just added a extra coolness. Oh, yeah. And I was just thinking this should definitely make our favorite Christmas list. <laughs> yes, I'm excited to do that podcast. We do need to try it out first. And then that may make it plus I got to figure out which brand it was. But when you're outside, also wear your hat for more protection. We even have our favorite sun hats and sunscreens in our spa shop. Just go to lindsayholder.com. It's all right there. All the work has been done for you. Don't even get me started about this super cool visor that flips out at the end. Like it retracts. That is my favorite visor. Lindsay has one in white. Lindsay has one in white and I have one in blush. I wear this every day. I love it. I love it. It's a good sporty look and you can sweat in it as well. So anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah. So we don't want retinol with side of sun cancer. No. <laughs> skin cancer on your face. Okay. So sunscreen, sunscreen protection. Okay. Or even to burn your face because, I mean, it's just so sensitive. It is. So then there's also a natural alternative to retinol. So some of you might have heard of, um, oh man, I don't even want to pronounce this. I have practiced pronouncing it so many times, but it's baculeal. I did not say that right. Did I, Lindsay? That's a tricky one, but good job. Whatever. Anyways, if you want to see how it's spelled, I'm not going to spell it over. I was about to say over the phone, over the podcast. I'll spell okay. it for you. B-A-K-U-C-H. I -O -L. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. You're hysterical. <laughs> I do really like that product though. It is a great natural alternative to retinol. So it's really nice when you have super sensitive skin. I, I recommend that to my clients as well. That's awesome. I love it too. It's plant-based. It provides antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. And I love it also because the reason why is it's similar to retinoids by increasing the cell turnover, which, as we discussed earlier, stimulates collagen and also diminishes fine lines and wrinkles. And use vacuole, back, blah, blah. <laughs> oh my gosh. As you would, you know, retinol, as we mentioned below. And we do have a product recommendation um, online in our store. And it's a serum that contains that special ingredient, but also contains niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and squalane. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And last but not least, you need to avoid using retinol if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or trying to conceive. I just wanted to put that out there because some of you ladies may be like, oh, I'm going to do it now. But, you know, if you're trying to conceive, breastfeeding, pregnant, just let's just avoid it for a little bit right now. Okay. Well, that's when you can use that natural alternative. That's right. Super smart, Lindsay. That saves you. And I will say a great alternative as well. Um, you can use your LED. I mean, I think you can. Of course, ask your doctor, but use your LED mask as well if you're pregnant on just your face. Just FYI. I did want to let you know, you don't have to worry about when to use your retinol, how to use it, because I'm going to show you how to do it. I have everything inside our community and we talk about it a lot because we want to see you in there. It's at lindsayholder.com. Just join the community. Hit play on, on the daily videos. Yes, I said daily. They're Sunday through Thursday. They range from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. And I literally show you the exact steps to use for your nighttime routine. I will show you how to use retinol. I will show you how to use microcurrent. I will show you how to use home derma rolling a spicy mask one I just did. And it's so fun for me. And I get so excited that I get to educate you and teach you how to do facial massage, lymph drainage, like the works. Your skin is going to look so glowy, hydrated, youthful, amazing. You're going to love me. <laughs> because I'm... You are. I love you. I think you're so talented. And I love watching your videos. It is one of my favorite part of my day. I'm serious. Thank you. And, you know, I'm in my own bathroom. I'm not on a set. Like, I'm literally in, it's in my bathroom. We're just hanging out. And it's a great way to end your night, relax, but have your self-care moment. And know that you did something for yourself that makes you feel good. So we cannot wait to see you in there. 
please join because we want to make a difference in your skin life. Yes. And Ashley is in charge of skin school. So she has so much more information on retinol, all little tips and tricks and product recommendations. They are inside skin school inside the membership as well. Well, thanks for joining everybody. And we will see you when we talk about our next ingredient on the next show. Until next time. Thank you.